Angeles Comic Con. I'm a cosplayer and costume designer. I've been, I will say I've discovered cosplay 18 years ago when I was still very young and quite a new. And uh, since then, um, I've made over 350 costumes and turned this hobby into my profession. Um, so these days I do a lot of conventions as a speaker, um, as a judge, a panelist, and invited guests and such. But I also uh, work with companies like Joanne Fabrics. I create fabrics for cosplayers. Um, I make patterns for the cult pattern company. And, you know, the, and I have a store that has a lot of cosplay accessories as well as materials. So the whole point is to um, make more resources and materials available for the next generation of cosplayers. Um, oh yeah, that's right. What do I do for Halloween? Uh, so because I because I dress up every weekend at a different convention um, and I'm in costume basically every week, I actually take Halloween off. So I don't cosplay on Halloween. I would rather go to a haunted house or you know a zombie experience or like uh, I don't know ghost stories in the cemetery. Some sort of activity where it's more about that spooky aspect um, versus the dress up aspect. But uh, one day I would like to throw a kick ass Halloween party and make everybody dress up and hold a costume contest. So um, on a year where I don't have a convention obligation. I will definitely do that. That should be really fun. A lot of people ask me how they could become a professional cosplayer, and from my journey, um, it's it's about a lot of persistence and patience, and um, definitely a lot of hard work. So you can't look at uh, the goal. You can't look at the goal of wanting to feel famous or wanting to get free trips or wanting to you know get photos taken of you. That can't be the goal of you wanting to do this professionally. That's the result. Uh, so really your goal needs to be wanting to do something that makes you happy, that fulfills you and um, that also has a, that the community has a need for. So whether you are offering a service or a product, you have to approach it from a business sense. Um, and uh, you know, it's an artistic, uh, it's, it's kind of like deciding to be an artist. How do you make a living with that? And if you're lucky and if you work hard enough, long enough, you might gain the followership and might gain the notoriety to become very successful. So that's the same thing with cosplay. You should dress up however you want to dress up, and if somebody doesn't want to take your picture just because you're wearing something that you like, that doesn't that holds no, you know, bearing on how good your cosplay is. You should do cosplay because you love to cosplay, and you should cosplay whatever character that you want to be. 